A lorry sets off for Dover at 17.52 hours. It arrives at 22.10 hours. If the distance travelled is 250 miles, find the average speed of the journey. Now we're going to use the formula for speed in this calculation and that formula can be taken from the triangle containing distance, speed and time. If we cover up with our finger S, it leaves D over T and that tells us that the formula for speed is distance divided by time. Now we're given the distance in the question, we're told that D is 250 miles. And we're also given enough information in the question to work out time because the lorry sets off at 17.52 hours and it arrives at 22.10 hours. So from 17.52 hours, I take it up to the nearest whole hour, which is 1800 hours, and that's a difference of 8 minutes. From 1800 hours to the time of arrival, which is 22.10 hours, is a difference of 4 hours and 10 minutes. That means that the, the length of time taken for this journey in total is 4 hours and 18 minutes. Now we can't substitute this directly into the formula for speed because at the moment we have a mixture of units. We've got hours and minutes. We can only substitute once it's all in hours for this particular question. So we need to take the 18 minutes and write it as a decimal fraction of an hour. So there are 60 minutes in an hour, so 18 minutes is 18 sixtieths of an hour. And if we carry out the calculation 18 divided by 60, we find that 18 minutes is 0 0.3 hours. So in total, the time taken for the journey is 4 hours and 18 minutes, which is 4.3 hours. We're now able to carry out the substitution. So S is equal to D over T, which is now equal to 250 over 4.3 and if we carry out the division, 250 divided by 4.3 to the nearest whole number, the answer is 58. Now our unit for speed comes from the units that are in our question. The unit for distance in the question is miles and the unit for time in the question is hours. So the unit for speed is miles per hour.